Yep, and the pace they're going at right now will not be <laughs> sustained for a whole lot longer. They hit it like a wall. And these crowds here again, uh, I've been speaking to a couple of the riders, uh, foreign riders, and they've never seen crowds like this other than, as you mentioned, the big tours and that Tour de France. Uh, the crowds here, fantastic. The weather certainly helping, but uh, this race and uh, this countryside really bringing them out. Jerome Koppel for Sarah Sojason. Working hard to try and maintain the pace in this group as uh, Samuel Sanchez certainly is setting uh, a decent tempo. It's, uh, it's a pretty good uh, tempo that he's setting, really, because it's drawing the best out of perhaps the least able climber in this group, so which is probably just about what you want to do. Convoy is only as fast as its slowest ship, but the uh, slowest ship is certainly getting the workout. Yeah, and uh, Sanchez there on the front, former polka dot winner from the Tour de France, uh, Olympic Games gold medalist four years ago in Beijing. Set in a high pace. Uh, Ertizan here on the right-hand side of him, his teammate. He's the one who certainly wants to pick up the points. He needs to get in the wheels, really. He's sat out there in the wind, not, in, not doing himself too many favours at the moment. Yeah, surprise, really, with uh, Sanchez setting the pace. He might as well take the maximum advantage of that, but he slots back in on the wheel of his teammate as the uh, group is stretched into one long line. And uh, Ertizan looking comfortable on the wheel of Samuel Sanchez as uh, Mark DeMar slots in in third place. And this group uh, working well together behind the Enduras continue to set the tempo on the front of the bunch. A fast dwindling bunch on this steep ascent. Yeah, here we can see Ian Bibby here from Endura Racing. And uh, here's the shot that shows just how steep this climb is and how hard these guys are having to work. And uh, Paul Voss there in second place with his team leader there, Jonathan Tiernan Locke. Oh my word. Now, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen has an awful lot to answer for, doesn't he? Wow. Oh, and there's two of them. Double trouble. My word. I, well, wish, uh, I wish I was on 5% of the sales of Mankinis in, uh, in the last few years. Riders starting to struggle. Gediminas Bagdonis of the Unpost Sean Kelly team, the uh, Lithuanian national road race champion, and a man who's made a big reputation for himself in uh, continental level racing, but uh, feeling the pain as they head towards the top of this hill. And here we come towards the... Uh, Skoda King of the Mountains sprint point. Well, it is a sprint point because uh, the gradient has uh, leveled off a little bit as uh, Urtazan takes top points across the top for the second climbing succession. And that won't be great news to Christian House. OK, join us for the uh, next part after this short break. Welcome back to a scenic stage seven of the Tour of Britain, finishing in Dartmouth. The second yodel sprint of the day took place in Kingsbridge, crossing the line first, node four Giordano Racing's Marcin Biablocki, ahead of Jacek Mirajko and Mark Damar. Perfect weather conditions, beautiful seaside views, and huge crowds greeted the 94 riders. And in the final intermediate sprint of the day, Biablocki was again in front, this time even Basso and Jacek Marajko following in second and third. We rejoin the action with nine kilometres remaining and five men now clear, including two men in the orange of Uskaltel Uskadi. As the Uskatel rider here, Sanchez gets up to the three leaders now. Oh, and he's absolutely dying. He's looking behind to see can he get some help from Capel, but capel has gone. Meanwhile, up front, Mark Damar. Where is he getting this strength from? Absolutely stunning work from the United Healthcare rider who's uh, been to the fore all week as uh, Urtasan looks like he's certainly in good form too. Ivan Basso very much in contention and playing a watching brief as it's uh, Mark Damar that does all the damage on the front of the break. Those... Uh, Remaining riders are going to fall back into the clutches of this group as Jonathan Tiernan Locke takes it up at the front. Yep, and there's a handful of riders just starting to come across, but I cannot see Lee Howard. I do not see an Orica Green Edge jersey there. So Nathan Haas has uh, managed to get there. Nathan Haas, of course, uh, lying in third place and just 18 seconds behind. So this is the select group of GC contenders that uh, Jonathan Tiernan Locke has uh, managed to gather clear of the bunch as the uh, break up front are battling for stage honours. Sanchez is moving forward now. He's gone off the front, just starting to attack over the top, create some damage. I think he's just caught at the back a little bit and, uh, you know, maybe done a hard turn just before that, but he certainly recovered well. He's dug in in a big way. 